Okay, next tutorial. This time, I'm meant to be dressed up as Flowey from Undertale. I have been wanting to do this makeup for the longest time. Ever since I started playing Undertale on my gaming channel, I've been dying to do it. Because I've already done Sans and I've done Papyrus and of course I've done Metaton, so I thought I have to do Flowey. I even did Gaster. I've done so many. <laughs> It's been requested for so, 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 so long. I'm so sorry I've only just got around to doing it now. So I hope you like my more realistic take on a flowy makeup. I kind of took some of their end faces and kind of mashed them together and yeah. So if you'd like to learn how to do this makeup for yourself, stay tuned. Okie dokie, so to get things started, I'm going to be popping on a latex ball cap, and I think at this point I've said this about 500 times now, but for those of you that are new here, if you don't know how to pop on a ball cap, I'll pop a link on the screen up there. That link will take you to a video where I teach you how to pop on a ball cap, so I don't have to do it in this video to make the video a little bit shorter. There'll also be a second link up there as well to teach you how to block out your eyebrows, because I'm going to be doing that as well. Just make sure that when you block out your eyebrows, you add an extra layer of spirit gum after the initial layer of spirit gum and the synthetic wax, just so that it completely seals them off, because we are going to be putting liquid latex in that area. So, I'm going to go pop on my ball cap, block out my eyebrows, and we shall go from there. And here we are. So as you can see, I also went over my ears with my ball cap as well. I also went around the edge of my ball cap with about three layers of liquid latex on a sponge. I can then start working on building up an angry brow. So to do that, I'm gonna take the same sponge that I used for the edge of my ball cap and some more liquid latex, and I'm just gonna apply one coat of latex directly to my forehead and over my eyebrows. That's why I said at the start to block out your eyebrows with an extra layer of spirit gum, just so it's completely safe. So I'm gonna start with about three layers of liquid latex on my forehead, and then we can go on to the next step. Then, once I've built up the third layer, I can start taking some tissue paper, which I've already pulled apart, so I've got the single sheet of tissue itself. And I'm only gonna be working with relatively small strips at a time. We don't wanna work with anything too big at the moment. I'm gonna take some more latex, pop it in the middle to begin with, then take the tissue, stick that down into the latex, and then pop some more latex over the top of that. Now, if you've never seen me do this before, the reason behind this is to build up a really angry furrowed brow. It's just the alternative to using prosthetics. Plus, I find it really fun and therapeutic to build this up because it can take some time. So I'm gonna be building this particular brow up to be quite exaggerated. I really want that angry expression to really shine through. So I'm gonna have the middle of the brow hang roughly this far down over my eyes to really accentuate that angry look. So usually for my angry brows, I use about seven layers of liquid latex and tissue to really bring that brow out. But as we're gonna be going quite exaggerated, I think I'm gonna to go to about 10 layers this time. That'll be about 10 layers in the middle to about five layers on the edge and eventually three layers and then just nothing. So it blends out completely. So we're gonna work in this V shape going over the eyebrows, going up at the ends, letting it dry in between each layer until we've built up a nice angry brow. So when everything's nice and dry, it should look something like this. Really angry. <laughs> So next, I'm gonna start working on the mouth details. So I'm gonna be drawing on quite a large grin for this look. So I'm taking basically the last two or three faces of Flowey and I'm kind of merging them together because at one point they show their teeth and it's really sharp and pointy and yeah, I think it'd be really cool. So to draw this on, I'm gonna be using a Corolan face liner pencil in black. It doesn't really matter too much which pencil you use. I just like using the face liner pencils because they come off really easily if you make a mistake. And I'm roughly gonna start tracing on the shape that I want for the mouth area, the teeth, and maybe a gum line. I'm then gonna take a white face paint by Superstar and I'm gonna color in all of these new teeth that we've drawn in. I can then take another Superstar face paint, this one's in black, and I can color inside the teeth area. So there we are. Then I'm gonna take a red superstar face paint and I'm gonna color in the gum line.
Then, going back to the black Superstar watercolour, I'm going to take it and apply it just underneath each tooth, going in kind of a half moon shape under each one, leaving a small gap in between, and then blend that colour downwards just to like kind of accentuate the gum line underneath each tooth. I'm then going to do exactly the same again, just underneath the black, with the white watercolour to add a kind of sheen. Next, I'm going to take an eyeshadow by Sugar Pill. This one is in Bulletproof, so black. I'm going to take quite a large fluffy brush, loosely dip it in the colour, and then brush it towards the centre of the mouth. So I want a really nice gradient as it goes towards the middle, just to make it look like the teeth are sinking back into the mouth. Okie dokie, so hopefully the illusion works. So then I can take the Superstar white watercolour again and I can colour in my face. I'm not going to colour in my neck or the back of my ball cap because I'm going to be colouring that with a different colour afterwards. I'm then going to take a really sharp angle brush and a Makeup Forever Flash palette, but you don't really need the palette, I'm just going to be using the black cream, and I'm going to start adding some expression lines around the face. So I'm going to start with the mouth area and I'm going to draw some nasal labial folds going up to the sides of the mouth and then blend the colour downwards. I'm also going to do a couple extra folds at the top of the peaks of the mouth just to really accentuate the fact that the green is really high. Okay, so I'm just going to stop for a second just to show you what I've done on this side of the face. So as you can see, I've gone around the sides of the face, following the nasal labial fold, around, down, across the jaw, and then I blended the colour on the bottom half of the face downwards, with the rest here going upwards towards the corner of the eye. It just makes everything look a little bit less 2D and more three-dimensional. I've also shaded quite heavily on the sides of the fake mouth, just because I really want the face to look really sunken in. So then I'm just going to copy this on this side. I'm then going to start working on the eye area, so I'm going to take the black Superstar face paint again and I'm just going to colour in my eyelids and underneath my eye ever so slightly. So now that I've got a good base, I can take the black Makeup Forever cream once again and I can apply that over the black watercolour and blend the colour away. So the shape that I'm going to try and go for is going to be very high up this end and very low down in the corners where the brow furrows up. The next step is completely optional, but I'm going to be using some black hairspray to spray a kind of halo effect around the top of the head, just to kind of minimise this empty space. So if you are going to do this step, make sure to do it in a well ventilated area. I'm going to be going outside to do this myself. Obviously breathe in first before you spray, you don't want to inhale hairspray. <laughs> I'm going to hold the can at an arm's distance and then pass around my head and then slowly get towards the centre, barely holding down the nozzle until it kind of just spades off. So I'm just going to go do that and we'll see what it looks like. And there we go. Next, I need to paint my neck in a black watercolour just so I can really isolate my face. So now I want to talk to you about my favourite bit which I've been looking forward to doing since the start of this makeup and yeah. <laughs> so this wouldn't be a flowery look without the petals. <laughs> So I made these out of cardboard. I basically made three different stencils, one that could go on the top of the head, one that could go on the bottom of the jaw, and then one that could go on the side of the face, so the arch conforms correctly to my face. I cut them out of cardboard, then I applied some yellow felt to them using a hot glue gun, and then I applied a little black strip down the middle. Yay! I also applied a little tiny strut so that I had something to stick these down to. So the idea is that I apply some spirit gum to the base of the strut, and then I stick it down onto my bald cap for a few seconds, and then when I let go, I'll have, well, a little flower halo. <laughs> I just really like the idea of a really scary demonic makeup and then really bright, lovely coloured petals. It kind of sums up flowery completely, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to apply some spirit gum to the base of these struts and then stick them down. And there we go. One flower. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I look so happy and angry at the same time. So then all that's left for me to do is to pop in some contact lenses, pop on a costume and we'll see what it looks like. And there we go. That's my look. Officially complete. 
So I finished the look off by popping in two Scalera lenses that are black on the outside and white on the middle. I really think they help add to this look. I got them from ScaleraXL.com. I'll pop that link in the description bar below. I also popped on a black morph suit that I got off of eBay just because I really wanted the head to stand out. I didn't want the body to interfere with anything. And that's it. That's my makeup tutorial. I'm very aware of how silly it is, but it's so fun and I had such a laugh doing it. I've always wanted to do this character. This does mean I've got to do the rest of the characters though, I think, because there's only a few left. I've done quite a few of them by now. And I always feel so happy when I do them. <laughs> so yeah, that was my flowery makeup tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you wanted to see more of my Undertale makeups, I'll pop a few links on the screen up there because I have done quite a few by now. But if you can't find the one you're looking for, please let me know in the comments below which one you'd like me to do next. So thanks everyone so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like my take on a raw realistic flowery. If you did like this tutorial, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time. Bye fluffies!